what's up guys, welcome to another video. Um, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make your three piece wheels go from this to this. Um, I'm going to show you how to split your three piece wheels in preparation for re-lipping them, uh, painting faces, switching barrels, anything like that. Um, I'm going to show you how to transform it from a complete wheel into all the pieces that it comes in. So uh, let's get her done. So these are, are the wheels we're going to be working on today. Um, they're my work Autostrada Monzas, imported from Japan, three-piece wheels. Um, like I said in the last video, they have a couple cracks in them, so we're going to be splitting them, like you can see here, in order to get the couple cracks I have in the barrels fixed. And uh, I'm also going to be repainting them as well because this is not my favorite color. Um, Somebody's color, not mine, but uh, yeah, so this is what we're going to be working on today. Alright, so here's the tools you're going to need. You're going to need some extensions, depending on how deep your wheel is. Two 3 8 ratchets. Um, you're going to need a 12-point set of sockets. These are kind of hard to find if you don't already have them. Um, the bolts on the wheels are a 12-point. They're not a normal 6-point kind of hex dial, so you're going to need to find a set of those. And you're also going to need a 11 millimeter or whatever size um, socket is on the back of each of those bolts. Um, and you're also going to need, oh, I forgot about that, a knife or a blade or anything like that. So you can cut the sealant that is around the wheel. So you can crack that open to get the wheel apart. Alright, so first step is we're going to be taking our knife. Uh, and we're going to split this bead around here. Um, you can do this first, preferably, because once you start taking the bolts out, it's going to want to kind of separate. You might want it to separate, you might not, might not want it to. I'm going to cut it now, while it's easier, before it starts kind of wobbling all over the place. Pretty straightforward. You want to kind of try to get as close to the lip as possible. And there you go, simple as that. And then close enough for safety. Alright, so now that we've got our extension, um, you get your bead kind of cut there. Um, Take your sockets, pick a starting point on the wheel. I know myself, I'm going to start at the, uh, the valve stem and work your way around. That way you kind of know where you're going from. The key is to kind of use the star kind of 12 point side on your, on your uh, bolt to hold it and then do all of the work with the other side. You don't want a chance stripping up the 12 point side. Um, a, because they're expensive and then B, it's a pain in the ass to get off. So, find your point. And there you go. So, if you have an electric kind of ratchet, that would make your life a hundred times easier. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack them all, and then I'm going to go through and kind of take the extension off my ratchet, and then screwdriver style it, so I can do it really quick.
camera angle, I know. Uh, I got it set on top of a TV, way she goes. I've got it down to two final bolts. We got one up here and one down here, just to kind of hold everything together. Um, even though we cut it, it's still quite sturdy. So I'm not really sure how this is gonna go, but uh, I'm gonna crack these two last bolts and um, then we're going to try and split these apart. Okay, so we've got all the bolts out. And uh, you can hear you're gonna crack the seal a bit more. It may not be cut all the way through, so. Give her another cut. Uh, that should help things along. You can see that seal starting to split there. Almost all the way through. And there you go. That should touch your lip. Lip come right off. Like I said, you want to cut up towards the lip. Um, just so you don't have a whole lot to scrape off the back of this lip. And then your face and your barrel still together. Um, I'm gonna make another cut along here. That should help it along. You should be able to tap it with a mallet, or I might be able just to pull it. No, I'm gonna make another cut. Just be careful not to damage your faces if you're not repainting these. Um, I don't really care a whole lot. I might actually cut this way just so it doesn't fall on me. We're just gonna give it a tap with a hammer. Rubber mallet, of course, not a real hammer. Loosen things up, just because they were torqued to such high spec. Two. Before you do this, you might want to clean your wheels out a bit better. Get some brake dust on the old hands. They're really on there. Hmm. I'm gonna try and make another cut, and we'll be right back. A couple taps to the back should kind of loosen this up. As you can see there, I don't know if you can see that, it's kind of split open. So we should be able to just pull it apart, maybe. Might have to tap a little bit more. Again, I don't care about these faces, so I'm just gonna give it a couple more taps on the back. And there we go. Got that barrel to split. Torqued on there quite hard, plus with the silicone. We did make that second cut was definitely needed though. And there you go. Like I said, if you care about your faces, don't put them right on the ground. Um, that's your center. So, like I uh, showed in the original start of the video, that's how you split your wheels. Um, I'm going to be getting these painted, probably going to paint them myself, might get them powder coated and then paint them, but what you're going to want to do now is get all that silicone off all these edges, um, you can take a razor blade, do whatever you want, I don't feel like doing that right now so I'm probably not going to do that. Um, same with the barrels as well too, you're going to want to get the silicone off the edges of that before you reseal them or anything like that, um, but yeah, um, I don't know if you can see it on video, you might be able to see here. Right? No, it's not going to want to pick up on it. Anyway, right there, there's a little tiny crack like the size of my finger, right there. Yeah, there, you can kind of see it. So, we got to get a couple of wheels welded up. Send that over to uh, Gabo. He's going to get these all welded up. And then uh, we'll reassemble. So, as you can see, you've got your lip, your face, your barrel, 
We start out with a complete wheel like that. There's all of your bolts. Kind of separate them so you don't lose them. And your nuts. And that's how you uh, separate three-piece wheels. Like I said, this is my first time. Um, took a little bit more effort than I thought to kind of split them apart, which is probably a good thing. Um, you don't want them just flying apart on you. Um, gonna be doing the other one later. Didn't You don't need to see it. It's the same process. Um, again, wash your wheels before you do this, unless you want brake dust covered hands. Not always the most fun. Um, but uh, probably the next video you see, these wheels will be either painting the faces or polishing the lips. I do want to polish the lips. Might order new hardware. Let me know in the comments if you want to see it. Um, and then I'm also going to be painting these wheels soon, so that'll be up in an upcoming video. But just thought I'd give you a quick kind of how-to on uh, split some three-piece wheels in case you've never done it before. I never have. Kind of looked on YouTube, saw how to do it. Didn't seem that hard. Thought I'd give it a try. So hopefully you liked the video. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know anything you want to see. Peace out, guys.